Hey, how's it going and welcome to my channel, you guys. So my name is Robin and this is my channel, Oracle Rising. And I like to talk about a lot of random stuff that'll help provide some insight and um, maybe some thought provoking things. So guys, welcome here. Um, today I wanted to talk about the full moon and I've called this, uh, I'm getting the word rant, um, full moon followed because some weird things can happen when the moon is full in the sky and if you ever notice that if people are sort of acting a little bit off people say oh is there a full moon like what's going on out there so um, the full moon is when it is fully illuminated and you can see the whole sphere and that is because the Sun is reflecting off of it and providing that glow so definitely the first thing that happens that everybody notices what I was talking about is that emotions can run really high and people can be stressed and tensed. And, and that is part of the full moon. Um, and it's because of the magnetic pull it has on the earth, right? It's responsible for shifting the tide. So in your body is almost all water. It's like 80% water. So it's going to have an effect. Um, and there, lots of crazy stuff happens during this time. Like people could be short tempered and stuff like that. So I don't know, full moon can be really beautiful, but it's also a time to really uh, like brace yourself for what's going to happen. So the second thing I want to talk about, you guys, is that dreams can be amplified and be very um, impactful. So you could have one of those dreams where you just wake up and go like, oh, what was that? You know, I, I don't even know. But what is really important to remember here, guys, is that your dreams are really messages um, to you. So if you have something that's particularly shocking or particularly memorable, like really try to check out a dream dictionary. Um, you know, if you don't want to get up in the middle of the night and start going on online and doing searches, maybe write it down on a notepad beside your bed and check it out later. But if something is like waking you up and you can't forget about it in the morning and you spend all day thinking about it, chances are that that really glaring, weird, scary um, dream has a message for you and you know it happened to you when you were out like astral planning during your sleep or whatever so the third thing i have here is the periods of sleep disruption can be experienced and again that could be because you're feeling a little bit stressed you know you could be having the weird dream that woke you up and you don't remember what the dream was or you know it's just the way that the the moon is affecting your region at that time so really try to get your rest um you know do sleep talk downs or do a meditation before bedtime go for a walk like try to eliminate screen time as much as possible like i think people say like an hour or two hours prior to bedtime and maybe read a book or have a nice hot bubble bath and if you follow my other channel or this one at all um you'll understand that i find that a bubble bath is like kind of a healing thing to do for yourself and can really help you relax um, especially when you use like things like lavender oils or essential oils and bath salts and I do like good bubble bath and maybe switch to decaf um, what I started doing recently is I drink tea I don't drink coffee anymore but um, like I'll only drink caffeine before lunch. And then if I'm going to have something in the afternoon, if I want something hot, cause I live in a cold region, um, I'll drink a decaf tea or an herbal tea with no caffeine in it because I still want something hot because um, I'm actually wearing like my fleece pajama bottoms right now because it's like minus 40 where I live right now. So that's really, really awesome. So in order to flip the fallout, let's have a look at some things that you can do here, you guys. So smudging is a really good practice to clear energy and it's not really anything I've done myself because I'm sensitive to a lot of different things. So, um, and I, I just don't use smudging, but there's also like a virtual smudging. There's um, like, if you go online um, on YouTube, I found like the, the binaural beat of smudging your house and smudging is basically ridding yourself and your, your home of negative energies. So if you're having a really like freaky full moon, it could be a really good time to start practicing smudging or burning incense or something to clear the energy of your home. And again, you can do this with music and I use YouTube a lot. I find things that 
can clear the energy of the the home and myself and I'm not a big fan of like spreading smoke in my house but I know lots of people that do smudge so like right before and after and during the full moon is a great time to do that so another really big benefit of the full moon that you can take advantage of is to charge your spiritual tools so there's so much energy coming in from the full moon, like if you have crystals or if you're a tarot card reader like I am, um, like whatever it is, like if your altar is portable, <clears throat> you know, um, you can put all of this stuff in an access to where the full moon is going to come in and sort of bathe the um, your spiritual tools out and really just infuse them with that full moon energy. So. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the energy of the full moon. It just affects people in different ways. So you can really harness the full moon and use it to your own best advantage. Um, and the third thing I have here is to do a goddess meditation ritual. So there's all kinds of examples online. And again, YouTube is fantastic for this. So this is like picking um, a goddess that you would resonate with and there's there's a huge list of goddesses here you guys so you sit in meditation and you choose your goddess and you could find even like a specific guided goddess meditation if that's your thing um there's so many different goddesses you guys you know um my favorite one is probably the north norse goddess freya because um i just really resonate with actually that show vikings and um, I just love the Vikings lifestyle. I'm really into like that Norse sort of pagan thing. Um, even as a vegan, um, <laughs> I don't do sacrifices and I don't believe in sacrifices, but I do believe in um, multiple um, deities, you know, so it's a really interesting subject to get into, but I'm getting off track. So um, I found that this was a really specific way to take advantage of the full moon, right? So um, take advantage of the full moon, even if people are being a little bit weird and you maybe want to stay inside for a couple days. I don't know, because it gets a little um, frantic out there. So there definitely is a full moon fallout, but it's up to you to be able to flip the fallout and use it to your best advantage because there's a lot of energy and it can really push you forward. So guys, let me know which one of these rituals or practices is your favorite one and let me know in the comments and share with the rest of the the group here um, online if there's anything that I missed because there's lots of things you know we're here to learn from each other so guys I'm gonna wrap it up and just wish you guys an amazing day thanks bye <laughs>